Hi, good afternoon. My name is Stanley Mitchell. I graduated from Oxford with a degree in biochemistry, specialising in virology and epidemiology, and I currently work in developing life sciences and healthcare technology. This afternoon, I'll be answering a couple of questions about coronavirus, and the first of those, why is coronavirus spreading faster in Europe than in Asia? So this is a really good question, and it cuts straight to the heart of some of the major problems currently enveloping the coronavirus response, namely visibility and compounding factors of the disease. To begin with, it's really important to be clear that we are still very much in the early days of this pandemic. It might feel like we've been living with corona for a long time now, but in terms of statistical analysis and collection, everything that we currently know is very much provisional and is likely to change in the future as more data is released and future analysis shines more light on what is actually taking place. With that said, let's move on to visibility. And one of the most widely discussed explanations for differential spread of the novel coronavirus in Europe and Asia is testing. It's becoming increasingly clear that in a large number of cases, infection with COVID-19 results in very mild or no symptoms. In order to accurately chart the spread of the disease, it's important to test these individuals in order to detect the presence of the disease. Across Asia, testing rates have been lower on average than in Europe on a per capita basis. And to make matters more complicated, there have been significant improvements in testing technology, making tests performed in the earlier days of the pandemic less reliable than tests being conducted now. In time, we will eventually get closer to a true understanding of the rate of COVID-19 infection, and this will be pieced together uh, both from factors like death statistics and mortality, uh, which are already being used in some cases to fill in gaps in testing data. The recent spike in burials in Jakarta, for example, has been widely discussed as an indicator of a genuine rise in mortality, which some have attributed to an undetected spread of coronavirus. For the time being, however, visibility of coronavirus spread is very much linked to the degree of testing a country deploys, and the percentage of cases in that country which result in hospitalisation or death. Then, following from that, there are a number of compounding factors which increase the chance of a severe infection or the chance of being infected in the first place. And again, this list is likely to change as we learn more about the disease, but currently it includes exposure to air pollution, smoking, social habits like shaking hands or kissing as a greeting, the wearing of masks and many others. A major one, however, is age. COVID-19 has a very distinct mortality profile, with the majority of deaths being those aged over 60. Therefore, the impact and immediately visible spread of the disease, as detected through hospitalizations and deaths, is likely to be higher in Europe than in Asia for the simple reason that Europe, on average, is a much older population. This key factor has also been highlighted in discussions of differing severity with the pandemic within Europe itself. So, for example, some have suggested that Ireland, a much younger country than the European average, may be suffering an apparently less severe uh, epidemic of coronavirus due to this factor. In conclusion, we're still at a very early point in this pandemic, and many questions are not going to be settled for years to come. There are reasons to believe coronavirus might be spreading faster in Europe, but also strong evidence that this may be due in large part to a greater visibility of cases in Europe, a result of wider spread testing and also of an older population. What we do know for sure is that coronavirus is widespread and endemic in most countries in the world. Therefore, please remember to stay safe and follow current medical advice to reduce the risk of infection for you and your family. Thank you for listening and take care. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya.